This conference will now be recorded. Okay, students, uh, we will start the class. So, no question. So, uh, today's class, we are going to discuss about what is the effect of at on capacitance of transmission line. So, uh, why? Uh, what is the main intention of this topic? Means, see, generally, the transmission lines uh, we are having the overhead transmission lines, right? And in that, uh, the conduct one conductor is uh, acting with respect to the act is like a parallel path capacitors. Let me consider one conductor may carries that positive charges, and similarly, the act carries that negative charges. It means that both the conductor and the act acting as a two parallel path capacitors. And based on that, how we can avoid uh, the effect due to that? So uh, already we derived the one derivation based on the single phase transmission line. One is phase and neutral. Here both are conductors. One phase phase conductor, another one neutral conductor. But in this topic, we are going to discuss about one conductor and one earth. So that is earth surface. In that, the earth surface, uh, just assume that it is uh, having that opposite charges that was created by the conductor. So based on that, what is the effect due to the act on the? Uh, so if you know this concept, then uh, you should know that what is the reason why we are using the overhead transmission lines in, uh, instead of uh, underground transmission lines, right? So let me go for a topic. And after after this topic, uh, we are going to do one problem on the capacitance. Okay, so be uh, get it with a paper, pen, and calculator. So this is the topic we are going to discuss in today's class. That is effect of act on a capacitance of transmission line. In that uh, we are considering that one conductor in a transmission line with respect to the act. Based on these two, uh, what is the capacitance should happen between these two? So let us consider the conductor is called as a positive plate and uh, the act is called as neutral plate, and these two are in parallel plate capacitor. See here, uh, you can see in this uh, diagram. Now, the effect of presence of air can be accounted by. So, uh, this uh, this type of assumptions was introduced by the Kelvin. So, he he then uh, introduced how the effect of air on the capacitance of the transmission line. How we can identify that? How we can calculate that? What is the capacitance between that conductor and air? So, he was the invented. Uh, uh, he was the father of this uh, concept. Now. The figure shows that uh, a single conductor with uniform charge distribution and with the height h above from the ground. Now, uh, this is the conductor. Let me take any conductor in the uh, three-phase line. So, let uh, it is all phase, whatever it may be. And it, it is uh, it generates that uniform charge and it has that positive charges and it is uniformly distributed around the um, along the conductor. And this conductor should be placed around the uh, above the earth with distance of h. So this is the uh, distance between the conductor and head and uh, at. Now, already I told you that the charges should be entered to the positive and terminate, terminates at the negative charges. Similarly, if the conductor having the positive charges and at the should having that negative charges, now the flux linkages will be originated to positive charges and terminates at the negative charges. So that's why the direction should be towards the negative. Now. The conductor has the positive charge and it is generated by Q and the equal amount of negative charge that was induced on it. Suppose if the end conductor having the positive charge, the automatically the earth having the negative charge. Now the air to field lines will originate from the positive charges of the end conductor and terminate at the negative charges on the air. Now the electric field will be originated from here and it will turn, terminate at the negative, negative charge carriers on the head. So this is the uh, assumptions and this assumption was invented by the Kelvin. So uh, he is the scientist and uh, he is the, one of the engineer and he was uh, introduced that what is the effect of capacitance with respect to the head. Now we will see that uh, uh, what, how we can, how the uh, he is introduced this concept, how we can elaborate it with respect to the head to the conductor. Right. 
so uh in this case uh, for, uh how he is thinking about this ensure of earth that is a plane of earth is assuming that earth is also called as one uh, conductor so earth is assumed as a conductor now the electric field lines are perpendicular to the surface of earth and conductor see here this of the, the flowing of electrical field with respect to the conductor that both are perpendicular to each other and the figure shows the earth is repelled repli, replaced by the image conductor it means that instead of earth we are assuming that earth also one of the conductor so it is replaced by one conductor by the earth and the lies directly below the vajra conductor so and previously we are taking here as a earth but in this concept we are assuming we are replacing the earth by a conductor that is exactly below the virginal conductor and these two conductors are one is the real conductor carries that positive charges and assumption conductor carries that negative charges and the distance between these two is for, uh, divided by 2h therefore the voltage between any two points above the earth is the same so if you taking this uh, Uh, with a equal, that is a exact uh, below the conductor. Then, if you take any uh, voltage difference, any point, we will get the same. Suppose if you take here and here, the difference will be same. Uh, different, uh, the voltage should be different. Different. Why? Because these are uh, placed in asymmetrical way. Okay. So we already want to derive some. When the two, when the conductors are connected in symmetrical manner, the voltage across the any conductor should be same. If they are connect, they are connected in asymmetrical, the voltage should be different. Okay, the same point here also. We are we are assuming that instead of earth as a conductor, so at the place of conductor of the place, just then the conductor should be placed exact below the virtual conductor. And if you if you place like this, means if you measure a voltage between any two points, it should be same. And the distance between that virtual conductor and at the conductor assumption conductor is two h. Now uh, let me derive that. Well, how we can derive, uh, how we can calculate that capacitance between the conductor and the earth? So th this was the assumptions uh, we are taking here. Generally, uh, so here uh, we am I am we are going to derive that capacitance of a single phase transmission line. Now this is the virtual transmission line, single phase. One is phase and neutral. And this uh, based on these two, one assumption conductors with respect to that. इकड प्लेस मैं कंडक्टर आज्यूम चुस्क सो वन इज इमेज इमेज कंडक्टर अंत इमेज ओके मिर्र इमेज ओके हियर दंडक्टर थ्री इज मिर्र इमेज आफ वन अंड कंडक्टर फोर इज मिर्र इज टू सो इन देश न्यूट्रल इन देश क्यारी दट पॉजिटिव चार्जेस आटोमेटिकली द्यूट्रल हाविंग द नगेट चार्ज ओके सो दिस फेस अंड इट इज न्यूट्रल इफ यू कंसिडर दट इमेज इमेज कंडक्टर So here three is a image, image uh, mirror image of one, and four is a mirror image of two. Now whatever charges carried by the one, it is opposite to the three carried by the three. So if we have a positive charge carried, then if we have a negative charge carried, then similarly here the second conductor is a neutral and it carries the negative charge, and the mirror image is four and it carries the positive charge. So this is the assumption and this is the methodology. How we can uh, we can represent that earth by a conductor, and uh, this is the assumption. Uh, uh, by using this one, uh, we can calculate that what is the uh, capacitance between that uh, uh, this one uh, conductor and as well as uh, earth. So this is the earth plane. Okay, now. so from exact earth surface to uh, conductor is H, and below that some some point whatever it may be, and this distance is called as. To head, so totally the distance between the uh, uh, below the earth and uh, conductor is two head. Now, based on this concept, we are going to derive the equation. So, are clear about this concept? Why? What is the uh, what is the assumption uh, the, to find out the effect of capacitance with respect to the conductor? Have you all got this idea about this concept, students? So are you clear about this picture? Please reply. Students are clear about this picture. Did you understand the picture concept?
So uh, we go for the uh, derivation part. Okay. So this is the derivation part. Uh, we can uh, we can append this uh, equation. Uh, we'll show you the diagram. Here, let me see that the potential difference between the conductors one and two can be easily obtained by following equation. Now we have to uh, we ha we have to derive that uh, potential difference across the these two conductors. Now, if you see if you observe this uh, picture, we have the four conductors. One is the real conductors, uh, two and uh, two imaginary conductors, image conductors. Now we have to form the equation with respect to the four four charges. Now. This is the standard equation uh, to find the voltage across the between the two points. So now we, we can calculate that what is the voltage between the one and two with respect to the image conductor. Now this is the equation one by two pi epsilon naught summation of m equals to one to four. So here m is m is, is nothing but a number of conductors. So we have four right. So that's why we have to do from one to four and qm. So qm is nothing but a, the the charge carriers with respect to the number of conductors and ln d2m by d1m now this is the standard equation now we are finding the equation voltage with, with between the one and two with respect to the four four charges carrier so v12 is equal to one divided by uh, two pi epsilon naught let's substitute one two three four in this equation so q n ln so instead of uh, m i am substituting at first so this is the term we are getting when m is equal to one Q1 ln uh, D21 by D11. Next, this is the term we are getting when m equals to 2. So Q2 ln D22 divided by D12. And this is the term we are getting when m is equals to 3. Q3 ln D23 divided by D13. And this is the equation we can get we can get when m equals to 4. So the, uh, after finding this, it means that the effect of voltage between the one and two with respect to the all charge carriers carrying the these four conductors. Based on it, we can get the we can get the uh, voltage between the one and two conductors. Now, if you observe this uh, this equation one, uh, there are uh, self distance are there and uh, GMD are there. So self distance and mutual distance. Let me consider here that the self distance are D11 and D22. So we are finding the, the uh, voltage between the one and two, right? So the self distance of one and two is D11 and D1, D11 and D22, and its uh, value is R. So we are not considering the R dash here. So my inductance R dash just R is equal to radius. But here we are not using R dash. Why? Because the capacitance available on the only surface of the conductor. But in the case of inductor, the, the flux should be the field should be the uh, magnetic field should be in this from the center of the conductor. Okay. So I'm going to just to auto denotation. So this is the self distance D11 and D22. Next, the distance between D12 and D21. So it is a D. And similarly, the distance between D23 and D14. So D23 means from here to here and here to here. I already told you that D23 is equal to square root of what is the distance between here and here? 2h right 2h square plus and here to here d square okay now so you put it more directly this country it's just on you can actually see that distance should be and they can use your play on you don't want to calculate just have to we have to follow this equation now if you form this if you find this equation d23 you can write 
डू टू थ्री टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर एच स्क्वायर प्लस डी स्क्वायर सो डी टू थ्री आर डी वन फोर बोथ आर से So uh, D1, D23, and D14 we got like this, and D13, D24. So the distance between one and three, three is two h, and two and four is two h. So these are the distances among the four conductors. Now let me see them. What is the charge carriers carried by this all four conductors? Here the charge carried by the conductor one is positive Q, and the charge carried by the conductor two is negative Q. And the charge carried by the conductor three is negative, and charge carried by the conductor four is positive. Now, if these all parameters substitute in this equation one, then we will get Q. So instead of Q one, Q one is the number Q, right? So Q is equal to Q ln into D two one is D divided by R. So if you substitute this equation, you can you may get like this. Okay now, now see here. Ah, uh, it has this ah uh, equation has the ah uh, two ah uh, four terms. Two terms are positive and two terms are negative. Now make this uh, equation uh, simplification for simplification. So we want to is equal to two pi epsilon. Here these two terms are uh, how we can make the same. So how we can make uh, this minus to the positive. If our minus means positive, let's say how we can make this negative to positive. Students, tell me how we can make this negative to positive. See, the negative one is there. Then the positive side is there. Let's check. Sir, learn or reverse jails. Right. So, इकड़ा uh, आ minus q l n r by d उन्हें रहता है। जिन्हें the numerator denominator interchange हैं। So, if you want to get this negative sign to positive sign, we have to interchange the numerator denominator in the logarithmic function. So, if we use that, r by d ने d by r जैसे, then we will get the positive sign. So, both are same, right? You will get two q l uh, ln d by r. At the same time. Here also, um, I want to get this negative sign to positive. What we have to do? We have to interchange this numerator and denominator. Now, if you uh, interchange this numerator and denominator, uh, this is the num uh, numerator denominator. Then you will get plus q ln of 2h divided by square root of 4h square plus d square. Now, uh, this uh, this two are same, right? We will get 2q. Now, uh, if uh, now let me see that what is the simple equation of this equation. Now let take the common two from the two sides, two terms. If you take the common two, then two two get cancelled, and the q divided by four pi epsilon not ln. So when the two logarithmic functions are in addition, so ln a plus ln b, then uh, we have the ln a plus b. So ln a b. Okay now, if the same uh, ln a minus ln b, you you will get ln a by b. So this is the logarithmic function. They are saying we are applying here. Two by so two q ne common this kunte two two cancel out kundi. Then q divided by pi epsilon naught la d into two h divided by r into four h square plus d square. This is the equation we obtained the voltage between the V one two. Now how we can obtain the capacitance between the one and two? What is the formula for capacitance? What is capacitance formula? Students, what is the capacitance formula? So how we can make this equation for the capacitance? What is the formula for capacitance in terms of charge and voltage? Q by B, right? Q by B. So uh, now in this, if you if you see this equation, uh, we have done a V and Q, right? So we have to make this. Uh, 
Q baby. So if you if you terminate this Q baby uh, equation, then you can calculate this C value. So uh, let me see. After finding this uh, C capacitance, terminate this uh, equation to the capacitance. Let me see how it will come. Right. So this is the equation we obtained when V one T is equal to Q by pi epsilon. So this is the voltage equation. And from this equation, we can make that capacitance C one T is equal to Q by V one to pi epsilon D divided by R into one plus D square divided by four H square into one by two. Now this is the capacitance between the uh, one two. So how we can calculate that capacitance between the C one C one n? What is the formula for C one n? So this is the C one two. If the equation, if you want to find the C one n and C two n, what is the formula? The only one 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 term should be changed here. What is the formula for C one n? C one n or C two n? So this is the equation for C one two. If you want to bring the, if you want to make this uh, for C one n, that is a uh, uh, one two neutral, then we have to. Keep two here, two pi epsilon r divided by l n. So if we, if you are not consider two here, then you will it is a capacitance between one and two. Okay now. Now uh, if you observe the equation three, there is a term in the denominator uh, that is one plus d square four h square. So generally we have the formula pi epsilon r divided by l n d by r. So this is the normal capacitance with respect to the two conductors that is phase and neutral. Now, while calculating the capacitance among the conductor and uh, at, we are getting this term. Now, let me see what is the how the effect of this term on the capacitance with respect to the conductor and at. Now, from this equation, it is observed that the presence of at modifies that radius R to R this one. So generally, man, R on the line. If you want to get any kind of just now, bro, R phase lo, the term what term is? Because generally, this term is completely negligible. Okay, na. So when this term is negligible, then it is approximately equal to that D by R. So it shows that there is uh, there is no effect of R on the capacitance of the transmission line. Te, yetu yetu wala yetu one effect and yeh transmission line na wonder do. Because of this value should be completely negligible and it has the less value. Okay, na. So if you make a chapter, what is the effect of at on the capacitance of transmission line is it is no, there is no effect because of this entire term is negligible and it is approximately equal to the R. So what we obtained the capacitance between the one phase and neutral neutral conductors the same thing we can obtain one conductor to with respect to the at. Okay, na. So uh, this is about Effect of at on the capacitor of it, capacitance of it transmission line. Are you clear, students? Are you clear about this concept? So it is the most important question from the con uh, capacitance concept. Right. So uh, now we we are going to solve one problem uh, that is belong to that capacitance calculation. Okay, now so man, uh, last class we did a just now that done pen of problem solve just. So all of you uh, get ready with paper and pen and calculator too. So this is the problem we are going to solve now. The figure shows completely transposed 50 h. And its distance is 250 kilometer long. A three-phase lines having has a flat horizontal phase spacing with 10 meter between the adjacent conductors. And if the outside radius is 1.2 centimeter and the line voltage is 220 kV, determine the capacitance per phase per kilometer. So, uh, if you see this problem, it is belongs to the uh, bundle conductors, right? So we all we already uh, derived the one equation based on the bundle conductors. What is the equation? What is the equation we derived?
So do you remember that what is the equation we derived for bundle conductor? See here that here they ask they are we want to calculate that capacitance per phase. So let me consider uh, this is the one phase A. So we are, we, we can calculate C A N. So what is the formula for C A N? C A N equals to 2 pi epsilon naught divided by square root of sorry. So it is not equation. So C A N equals to 2 pi epsilon naught divided by ln deq by r, r eq. This is the equation. If you want to calculate the capacitance between the CAB, what you will get? Pi epsilon naught divided by this arm. Okay, now. So now we have to calculate this equation. That is CAN is equal to 2 pi epsilon naught divided by ln dq divided by req. Now, pi is a we know uh, what is the epsilon naught value here. So we want to find this. Uh, we have to uh, we want to solve this equation. Then we can find the CAN value. What is the value of epsilon naught? What is the epsilon naught value here? Eight point eight five. Eight point eight five. Eight five four. Ah. Into ten to the power of minus twelve. Minus twelve. Right. So this is the epsilon value. Now in this case we have to find D Q and R Q. Okay now. So D Q value is so here how many conductors are there? One two three right. So uh, make that uh, cube root of D A B. DBC and DCA. So this is the equation of DEQ. Next REQ. REQ is already we found that a uh, different uh, different uh, manner. So if the bundle conductor having the two conductors, its value is square root of R into D. If the uh, if the bundle conductor having the three conductors, its value is R into D square power one by three. So, we have to use this square root of R into D. Okay, now, now, we have to calculate DAB, DBC and DCE. If you find this equation, then you will get that DEQ value. If you solve this equation, you will get the REQ value. Now, let me do this. So, how we can find the DAB value? That is geometric distance between the A and B. See here, if you observe them A and B alone, A phase and B phase, how many conductors are there? Four, right? So uh, it is a fourth root of square root of, uh, first one is DAA, that is self foot distance. Sorry, so it is a geometric, uh, geometric distance, right? So DAB is equal to Fourth root of DAB DAB dash into DA dash B DA dash B dash. Okay, now this is the way of calculating the DAB value. Next four into what is the value of DAB? What is the distance between A and B? Anybody? What is the distance between A and B? That is capital D. Geometric mean distance. What is the distance between A and B? D A B. Right. 10 meters. Right. So uh, this is the so already to that whenever we have to we, we want to find the GMD we have to make that the center center origin center point to the center point okay now so this is the distance between the uh, a and b that is 10 into 
what is the distance between da b dash da here to b dash so from here to here then that i need to b dash from here so it is a 0.4 so totally 10.4 okay now next what is the distance between da dash b a dash to b from a to b is 10 now what is the distance between a dash to b so it is 9.6 okay now so in the country it could be much more than a sunday can even cost me a dash inches so a dash inch already 0.4 and a pain you know so the new 10 inch of 0 0.4 this is then you will get 9.6 next what is the distance between a dash and b dash so from a dash to b dash it is 10 now if you solve this equation what is the value you will get what is the value of dab Nine point nine nine. So it is approximately ten. Okay, now, now, now we have to find the DBC and DCA. So here, what is the distance happening in the DAB? The same distance is available in between the DBC. So DBC also we will get ten. Now we have to find the DC value. Now let me see what you will what what are the how we can find the DC value. So listen carefully, boys. Our uh, DC is equal to fourth root of so why because in a and c we have the four conductors and it is dac dac dash da da dash c da dash c dash now fourth root of what is the distance between a and c what is the distance between a and c here to here 20 meters and what is the distance between a and c dash a and c dash so from up to here it is 20 but i need this portion also so it means that 20 plus 0 0.4 20 0.4 into Next, that distance between A dash C. So, A dash to C. So, uh, from A to C is 20. But I need A dash. So, you will get 19.6. Next, from A dash to C dash is 20. Then find out what is the value of this one. What is the value of DC? So, 20 into 20.4 into 19.6 into 20. So, 19.99 so it is approximately 20 okay now now you now substitute that find the total deq value so deq is equals to cube root of 10 into 10 into 20 so this is the value of dab dbc and dc so then find the deq value 12.5 12.59 so it is approximately 13 so 12.6 years so 12.6 meters okay now now we want to find that req value equivalent uh, that is uh, req is nothing but a self gmd okay now so it's a self gmd mark on the bottom in the bandy conductor slow two one up to allow us on the three one day allowed to the four and they allowed to make the last class japan so you can mark up a bandy conductor low two conductors tonight so we have to use that r eq equal to square root of r d so it's john important questions okay now so r eq is equal to square root of r into d here what is the r here what is the value of r That is 1.2 centimeter and 1.2 into 10 power minus 2. Okay, now what is the D value? What is the small D value here? Small D. The 
your small d value is 0.4. So, Bob, what do you want? Capital D and the two different conductors distance. Small d and the in in the internal conductor distance. Okay, now. So, if you substitute these two values in this uh, equation, what you will get in R equal value? What is the value of R Q? 0.069. Very good. Okay, now, now, if you substitute this, uh, C A N is equal to 2 pi epsilon naught divided by log 12.6 divided by 0.069. Then find the value. उसका चूसा मार रहा है आंसर करेक्ट है कहाँ था? See here, this is the D Q value we got 12.6 and it is the R Q value we got 0.069. Then what is the value of C A N? What is the value of C A N? Two by eight. Now keep uh, your calculator in radians mode. Right, 0 0.016 nano uh, coulomb per meter. Okay, now so if you see, if the problem of uh, AMR is back, so in the problem they asked what is the capacitance per phase? Okay, now per phase per kilometer yet. So we have to find the kilometer per kilometers and oh, let us uh, determine the capacitance for the conductor. Uh, for conductor, we have to find that value of CAB. Okay, now. So, if C A N is equal to C A B, then you will get the C A B. So, C A B is equal to 2 into C A N value. Okay, now. So, this is the way of finding that capacitance in the conductor. Now, uh, I will show you that previous question papers. And even you may get clarity on that. What topic they are asking? What derivation is equal to A problem is equal to A problem? You will get the previous question paper. Okay, now. So, what do you mean? You have to write the exam on tomorrow. So, you have to write the exam on tomorrow. So, you have to write the exam on tomorrow. So, Paris, 
zero point one zero seven per kilometer per kilometer, right? Now uh, I will show you that previous question papers. So uh, let me see what are the questions asked from the unit one. See students, uh, uh, this is the question paper uh, which is R uh, fifty regulation. It was uh, question paper on June two thousand eighteen. Now uh, let me see them at uh, two marks questions. Expand the terms GMD and GMR. So we have to find that GMD and GMR and we had from the equations and to define skin effect. Okay now, so skin effect we need to check some. And let me come to the ten uh, marks questions. First part derive the expression for the inductance of a single phase two wire line. That is the first two derivation we derived in the inductance calculations derivations. And next one is same problem also asked for the same cost derivation. A single phase line of 230 volts has conductor spacing 135 centimeter. The radius of conductor is 0.8 centimeter. Calculate the loop inductance L and M H. Yeah, inductance in milli henry. Of the line per kilometer. Okay, na. So we definite that we have part which is inductance pen or that second part which is capacitance pen or that. Okay, na. See, our next question is explain the effect of air on the capacitance of a single phase transmission line. That's what we discussed now. And next the second thing is three conductors of a three phase overhead line are arranged in a horizontal plane six meters apart. The diameter of each conductor is one point two four centimeter. Find the capacitance per 100 kilometer of the line in microfarad. Okay, na. So, even the, so, this is the questions uh, asked from the first unit. Now we'll see the uh, one more paper. See, uh, this is the two marks question. What is skin effect? Okay, na. And what is the significance of transposition in transmission line? So, what is the significance of transposition in transmission line? Yesterday, I, I I said, what is the importance of transposition? Maintain reliability, right? Super. So, Amiru, Dhan Kurinchi, I say, okay, diagram will be explained. Okay, now next, let's come to the ten marks question. Here are the expression for capacitance of transposed unsymmetrical three-phase system. We call it in in our okay, okay, derivation just some symmetrical three-phase system. Symmetrical or not, three unsymmetrical or not, two derivation same one type. Okay, now so it's unsymmetrical. It is D E Q plus low. You have to substitute D when it is symmetrical. If it is unsymmetrical, instead of D E Q, you can substitute Q root of D A B. D B C D C A. So remaining maximum derivation the same. Okay, now only you have to replace these two. Why? Because in symmetrical manner, the distance between the all conductors is same. So you will get D D D. So total the D cubed. So Q root of D cubed. These two get cancelled, then you will get the T. But in the case of unsymmetrical manner, the distance between the, among the two conductors is different. And the only one for D cubed is easy to recall. Okay, now so expression is derivation is same. For both symmetrical and symmetrical transport system. Now, calculate the capacity. So this is the capacity. Don't worry. I will. Uh, I will solve the number of. I will give the number of questions solving problems in material. Okay now. Meko Sunday log lo matam complete kaam first ni to full gay chasan number of problems to sakha. Okay now. And. So object to type. So there is no descriptive. So I will ask. I will. I will conduct object type uh, exam. Okay now. Tarva the meko ka assignment di chen. So nobody was submitted. Yeh assignment di chen. What is assignment I was given you? 
ಗೊತ್ತೊಂದಾದಕ್ಕೆ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆರ್ ತರ್ಟಿನ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇಕ್ಕ ಮೀರು ಎ ಎ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಎ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ನಿ ಸ್ಕಿಪ್ ಚೇಯಡಾನ್ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಲೇ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ಪರ್ ಆಲ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆನಾ ಸೊ ನೀ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಸೊ ಮೀರು ಇಫ್ ಯು ಫಾಲೋ ಮೈ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಎನಫ್ ನೋ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ವೆರಿಫೈ ದ ಅಂಡರ್ ಬುಕ್ ಸೊ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ದ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಬೈ ಯು ಓಕೆನಾ ನೇ ಮೀಟ್ ಈಸಿ ವೇಲೋ ಅರ್ಥ ಮೇಲ ನೀವು ಆಸಿಸ್ತಾನ ಓಕೆನಾ ಸೊ ಈ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಚೈತೆ ಚಾಲು ಮೀರು ಬೇರೆ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಏನ್ ಚಲೋದು ಓಕೆ ಚದನ ಅವಸರ ಲೇದು ಸೊ ಈ ನಾ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಚೈತೆ ಮೀರು ಈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಕಾನಿ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಕಾನಿ ಎ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಕಾನ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಲಾಗಾ ಉಂಟುಂದಿ so i will give a number of problems which are asked in competitive exams and external exams whatever it may be so any problems un pane meku solve chesi complete ga meku key points sa meku provide chestanu but you have to be steady okay na so uh, okay students uh, this is about today's class you have to write the exam on tomorrow okay na inka emana dillo topics emana pending unte we will discuss on the day after tomorrow okay na so adiki complete ga complete ayipothundi first unit very balanced le pana సో రేపు ఎగ్జామ్ ఉంటుంది ఎల్లుండి వచ్చేసి ఏదైనా కంప్లీట్ కానీ టాపిక్స్ ఏమైనా ఉంటే అవి డిస్కస్ చేసుకుందాం ఓకేనా సో నా ఐ గోయింగ్ టు ఎన్ దిస్ క్లాస్ నా సో మీకు ఫార్ములాస్ రాడం కదా ఆ ఫార్ములాస్ జస్ట్ మీకు ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయడానికి సో దెర్ ఇస్ నో కంపల్సరీ సో మీకు ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయడానికి మాత్రం నేను అసైన్మెంట్ ఇచ్చాను ఓకేనా దెర్ ఇస్ నో కంపల్సరీ ఓకేనా 